All right, so this is the part that everybody's been asking about. How do you get this angle on the top and bottom all set? And I said that I scribed it most of the time. Now, what I use is one of these fast cap scribes. I do, I, I used to install cabinets. I still build cabinets and install them. And I do a lot of custom furniture. So, this gets a lot of use uh, for me. They're, oh, 15, 20 bucks. They're great. All I do is I go ahead and get this thing assembled. And I set it however deep I'm going to make it. On this one, I'm actually going all the way to the point here. It's going to have a, a, a pretty big flat here, both top and bottom. So what we're going to do is we're going to set the height right to that corner, just like that. And then I'm going to go ahead and scribe a line. all the way around. Make sure you get this on a, uh, well, the flattest part of your shop that you can, or your shop floor. You don't want to transfer any marks that, you no know, blue marks or something like that. It's a little bit closer. I'm doing the top now. I just flipped it over. I'm doing this. I don't have the top made yet. Now after I mark these, I'm going to go ahead and pull it back apart. This is pretty simple. A lot of you guys were asking about the uh, oh the compound angle on the ends of these. Now, no matter the angle is going to be the same, no matter where you cut them, whether you just take a, a little bit of a corner out or whether you're going all the way uh, to the corner here. Forty-five compounded forty-five. It'll compress a little bit when you push down on that table. I normally put some leather or felt pads on the bottom, and that takes that up a little bit, but I may be about a half a degree uh, off of 45 as a result when I mark it. Uh, but I still, I'll, I'll cut that at a 45. So there you have it. That's what the angle is. It's a 45, 45.